guys and welcome to my morning skin brightening um, shower and body routine with majorly niacinamide as the star ingredient in this um, product that I'm going to be using today. Of course, first um, after my morning shenanigans, I go on ahead to brush my mouth. For brushing my mouth, I've always just stuck with um, Colgate products. I'm not really particular about toothpaste. Um, but then if there's anyone you guys would recommend, if anyone that is going to give me a different feel, then you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm open to trying new toothpaste. But for me, it's always the crystal white um, Colgate toothpaste or the charcoal one. Anyone I see on the shelf, I pick it up. This could also serve as a hygiene routine. So I would say that I take my time to brush my mouth as you can see. And then I don't joke with scrubbing my tongue because that's what can easily make your mouth stale, especially your morning breath. So now moving on to my face. Um, now I have hairs on my face. I'm hairy on the face. So it was time for a shave. And the two things that I would use here would be my oil and shaver and then micellar water and um, cotton pads to clean when I'm done. So first I take my oil and I put a generous amount and then go over my face and that is the Golden Glow Oil. I think I've mentioned this oil a lot. It's multi-purpose for me. Um, I use it for everything. Now using oil to shave my face is just a way of making things easier for me and also making sure that I do not hurt my skin in the process. It helps the um, blade glide through my face as you can see so I'm just gonna go ahead and just start shaving my face now I do laser hair removal so I'm still um, undergoing the treatment that's why I am shaving in the opposite direction but if you're just taking out um, facial hair from your face you might want to shave towards the part that the hair is growing if you get what I mean so I'm shaving in the opposite direction because I really won't have reactions on my skin because of the laser hair removal I'm currently doing but for you if you're not doing laser hair removal like me your blade should be facing downwards because that would be how um, your the hairs on your skin would be directed if you get what I mean so I'm just shaving my face and I'll let you guys just see how I do that Now I'm just moving over to the other side of my face and I'm repeating the same process. I'm taking the blade upwards and also my chin area as well. And then next I would move into my mustache area. Now I don't really have a lot of hairs anymore on my face. This is like more than a month plus of hair or of not shaving almost two months so now i'm just cleaning my face with some curtain pads and uh, micellar water and this is to help get the oil off my skin as well before i get into the shower just to make my job in the shower easy So this is the amount of hair I was able to take off my face and as you can see my skin is already looking brighter because sometimes facial hair can just create a fog on your skin and just make your skin look a lot dull. Um, so I like to take them off because they're really not serving any purpose on my face. Now I'm just um, shaping my brows taking away the excess um, eyebrows so now this is what my skin looks like after I have shaved and cleaned with the micellar water so next I'm just gonna hop into the shower and take my shower for the day Now for shower time, I check the temperature of my water, make sure it's warm, not hot and um, not cold because the weather is cold right now here. And then I put some water on my body and first of all, I go on my face with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. This is the one I use today. It does contain some ceramides and niacinamide as well. Um, so I'm just going to put a generous amount on my face and just 
wash my face gently now I'm using a gentle wash because I just cleaned my I just shaved my face so I don't need anything harsh I didn't need anything with maybe um, serious chemicals or acids as at the moment so yeah that's why I use a mild facial wash you don't have to use CeraVe um, you can use any facial wash but just make sure that it is mild now I'm making sure to get into my skin properly wash for some minutes actually I wash from my skin for about a minute and that's my face next I'm taking my exfoliating gloves and then I'm just going into my body with a regular shower gel and this one is the Decora um, I think Urban Fit shower gel with almonds and I think um, I forgot it. and then next with the shower gel I'm going to add some shower oil as well because now is winter and I don't want my skin drying out so I use shower oil to sort of maintain balance on my skin because I don't want my skin to feel dry and stripped. So the oil, the shower oil is just to support the shower gel. And as you can see, I'm sort of generous with the um, amount of product that I put on my um, skin because I want the job to be done. So I'm just scrubbing my body with the exfoliating gloves going into harder regions with my underarm and then I have my first rinse now I'm just going to go over my body again for the second time with just the shower oil this time this is just to keep my skin a lot more you know nurtured and um, not strip my skin this is where the process of um, hydration and moisturization starts for me. That is why I'm using this method. So I'm going in for a good rinse again, making sure that all the soap is off my body. Next, I'm going to go into my intimate region with my intimate wash, do the business and then, you know, just rinse my body again make sure i'm feeling clean and fresh and have fun while doing that as well and now we are done i'll just take a clean towel dab my skin my face first and then i'll go over to my body Now that we are done with that, we're going to go get products on this skin. So first for my body, I'm going to be starting off with a niacinamide lotion. And this one is from the brand called Miradem. And also my Golden Glow Oil from the brand Hot Canings. And I like to start off with my body because I like to put products on my body while my skin is still damp. And then take time to, you know, massage the product into my skin. And also show some love to other parts of my body as well. Massage the product in and in and into my skin properly. And as you can see, I'm taking very generous amounts. Something that I have shared with you guys before now. Make sure that you actually use enough product on your skin. So that you can get the results that you want. So after the cream, I'm going to then go into my body with like the oil. And this is how I just like to, you know, just put the oil on my body and then put a bit more on my hands then go over my body with the oil this oil is a very important part of my beauty routine because this is what helps me seal that um, lotion that i just applied in i don't know if i mentioned that that lotion was from a turkish brand i just recently got it so yeah it's just a niacinamide lotion i think it has like 10 percent niacinamide i'm not sure but yeah so you can use any lotion of choice it doesn't have to be this one now moving on to my face i started with my body because with the face i can always tone my face and get some hydration back into my skin but for my body i needed my body to still be damp with water if you get what i mean so now i went in with the sicaronic um toner to just balance out my skin before i go on ahead to apply the rest of the product
so now with this process i balance out my skin and i also take away any excess dirt that might be on my skin that i did not take off during the washing process that is why i am also using a cotton pad so after this i go into my skin with the clears um, supplements preparation toner i think it's called so i'm just going to take a reasonable amount and just go over my face and my neck very important consider your decolate whenever you're applying and, and as you can see i'm also rubbing into my hands that is because um your hands is one of the first places that can show um, the first signs of aging as well so you want to make sure you keep your neck and your hands nurtured now i'm just using a paper to just um you know just dry up the products as quickly as possible now i'm going in with the jumiso brightening um serum into my skin and I'm just dabbing that into my skin gently and also my neck. And then again, my hands as well. You can see that almost everything I do to my face, I do to my hands too. Next, I'm going in with this Axis Y Niacinamide Serum. And I'm just going to dab that into my skin as well. I took two pumps of that. So far, I've used um, two toners and two serums. This is how I like to layer my skin to just get the most out of my routine. Then again, I'm going over my hands. Next, I'll be going into my lips with the Laneige, I think, Lip Balm, that's what it's called. And I specifically love this for both morning and night. It keeps my lips very soft and, you know, moisturized. My lips are not chapped or dry with this. And next, I'm going to go into my skin with sunscreen. And here I'm using the Clays, um, I think, Airy or All Day Airy Sunscreen. I've shared most of these products in most of my videos. So I'm just demonstrating using them and here I use the two finger method. I was going to be at home after this so I wasn't going out. Um, I would have used a lot more sunscreen, maybe a third finger for my neck as well. But I was just going to be home and it's winter and sun doesn't really get into my house at this moment. So yeah. also rub that into my hands as well and this has as well been helping with the pigmentation on my hands you guys i told you how i was suffering with um you know dark knuckles because of a product that i had tried so this has um, richly been helping improve my skin tone and this is how my skin looks after i have moisturized and just pampered myself and this is my morning nice cinemite routine i hope you enjoyed watching it thank you so much and see you guys in my next video Mwah.